council meeting will be held this afternoon in Mangaung. It follows service delivery protests in the area. The community has been calling for the disbandment of the Mangaung Metro Council and the removal of the city manager. The council is expected to appoint a new acting city manager shortly. An agreement was signed last night between community leaders, the municipality and the province. The shutdown, we know, has now been called off. Well, ENCA Slendelo Masakane is in Bloemfontein for us with the latest from there. Uh, Slendelo, uh, uh, a very good morning to you and glad to see that things have relatively calmed down since the start of this week. But what now for those who are supposed to be managing this area? Well, that remains to be seen later this afternoon, uh, Uveka. We are expecting a virtual council meeting, uh, and it's a special uh, virtual council meeting that's going to be sitting this afternoon. And this follows uh, the chaos that we've been seeing on the streets of Mangaung, where residents uh, who are frustrated, who are fed up with the lack of service delivery and what they call corruption um, in their municipality, were demanding change. We know that there have been a series of meeting, uh, meetings rather between government officials as well as uh, the uh, group that's representing the communities uh, in Mangawung, uh, they call themselves the Mangawung uh, Concerned Communities Forum. And uh, what's uh, happened since is that there was a meeting uh, with the Premier of the Free State and uh, a follow-up uh, meeting yesterday. And that uh, resulted in an agreement that was signed uh, that would uh, officially uh, uh, call the uh, shutdown off. And uh, that agreement was signed by those um, leaders of the protest action, uh, the municipality as well as the province. And uh, what we understand uh, is that there are now going to be a series of meetings following uh, that with the communities to outline exactly what's been agreed upon. And one of those agreements is that there's going to be a task team that is formed uh, that is going to meet every Tuesday. Um, just to give a progress update in terms of some of the demands that um, have been put on the table, uh, the main one being uh, unemployment as well as issues around um, uh, land uh, distribution as well. Um, and, and of course, the issues around, uh, you know, sewage and um, those uh, bread and butter issues, uh, Uveka. But now I am in the Bloemfontein uh, CBD. Um, you know, over the past couple of days, this particular area has been basically almost like a ghost town you know there was absolutely no movement um it's a completely different picture today and i think you could imagine that many of the small businesses in the area have been quite heavily affected i am actually at one of those uh, businesses um a nice it's a food stall you can see they're busy uh preparing the uh, lunchtime meals for the rush uh, in fact they've got a couple of clients who are here already and um i want to speak to the owner um, of this business, that is Tabi So. Thank you so much for joining us, Tabi Sonjan. Um, just tell me about the shutdown. Um, did you support it, and what kind of an effect did it have on your business? Uh, it's a uh, shutdown. I uh, slim as the campaign. Yeah. Slim as the government manager says, "Seven thousand pounds to look good." But 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 when you get the providers from Milan Zavon, and they stay far from Bloemfontein, yeah. so they put our mobile in thing. How do they cope? Well, well, nah, because mm. they can't reach Bloemfontein. Mm. They can't come to work, it's, it's cover dealing and pay. Tell me about the effect on your business. I can imagine you, you might have bought stock, uh, you weren't getting an income. How do you support you? How did you support yourself? I see, see uh, when it comes to business, uh, it's a bit uh, it's like it be must stay over because of no, there was a certain portion of amount, so. Now, so they're going to have my LS because of, we don't know what's going to happen during the day. You know? yeah. just cater for those people who, who are coming out to work for some few hours only. You know? mm. And what would happen to your business if the shutdown continues? Yes, it's because of business. Yeah, it gives us food. So if ever it continues, it's going to be a very tough decision to take. All right. Thank you so much, Kavita. All right. Uh, Yuveka, that is just one of the uh, protests that we've here on the streets of Bloemfontein, a small business owner um, who says, while well, he uh, supported the calls or the demands that were being made by the protest action, um, it had a, a severe impact on, on, on his business. And if the shutdown had to continue, um, he wouldn't know how he would be uh, able to put food on the table.
table for himself as well as his family. Well, Asli, while I have you then, of course, yes, business uh, is something that, that would have suffered. But how much of a back foot did it sort of uh, put the, 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 the town in, in terms of other services as well because of the protests? I mean, one of the issues I, I would imagine was uh, vaccination sites or COVID-19 vaccines also now being held back quite a bit in the area at the time. Do we have any idea just uh, whether they are managing to catch up now in the, in the days of uh, following of, of, of some uh, peace at least there? Mm. Well, you would, uh, you can imagine, Yuveka, that it, it is the first day uh, since the shutdown was officially mm. called off where we are seeing uh, some of the roads are being cleared of uh, many of the debris, the rocks, the rubble, the, the broken bottles uh, that were preventing uh, the transportation of the vaccinations actually getting to uh, the facilities, um, as well as uh, uh, other uh, other amenities as well that uh, could not get their stock. I mean, my colleague and I in Budzeni, uh, for the past couple of days that we've been here, have not been able to actually get a decent meal. We've been actually just surviving um, on pies because um, no, not, not, nothing, no food trucks, nothing could come in and out of the town. So I think uh, from today moving forward, we, we're going to be, to be seeing uh, the resumption of many of the services and um, hopefully uh, the vaccinations will then, of course, start to pick up. So far, um, only one vaccination site uh, in the Puna de Taba area um, has been operational. The one here in Bloemfontein um, could not receive those vaccines due to the strike action. But I think over the next couple of days, that's going to change. All right, Sandela Maskani, thanks very much. Just that update there after the latest troubles in Mangong. Still on the way.